Nearly a million men in the UK have already been diagnosed with testosterone deficiency. It's actually pretty common. And yet despite that, the biggest problem we face as doctors is trying to work out how to educate men so they know what signs and symptoms to look out for in case their testosterone levels are indeed dropping. So with that in mind, here are the top five symptoms that means you could be suffering with a low testosterone. We've all heard of testosterone, and generally it tends to be associated with either this, or this, but actually there's a lot more to this hormone than just better sex and getting absolutely stacked. Testosterone is the main male hormone, and it's responsible for everything that makes us active as a guy. It affects how we look and becomes more active during puberty, so it affects our muscle mass, our height, our bone density. It also affects the hair on our face and also the hair on our heads, or loss of hair on our heads. But it also does a lot more internally, and it affects our metabolism, how we grow, and also how we think and act. After the age of 30, we tend to reduce our testosterone production by about 1% a year. And this can be sped up or slowed down by the existence of other medical problems or lifestyle factors, be them good or bad. However, by differentiating between what is normal aging and what is actually a medical or hormonal problem, we can treat this issue and improve the quality of life for thousands of men who are otherwise putting up with feeling rubbish. Therefore, with that in mind, here are the top five symptoms of testosterone deficiency. Number five, low energy. Testosterone is a major metabolic and anabolic hormone that has impact on various systems in our body. It acts on our neurology to alter how we think, concentrate and gives us drive, but it doesn't just affect our neurological processes and also affects our physiology. Testosterone being anabolic creates muscle mass and gives us strength and energy, but in addition it also does more subtle things to our system. For example, testosterone is responsible for stimulating our body to make blood. Without enough blood, of course, we feel more tired. About 8% of all consultations in primary care relate to tiredness and fatigue, and yet for some reason we don't commonly think about testosterone as a cause. If you think that you might have low testosterone, one of the classic things to look for is the reliance on caffeine. So a lot of guys with low testosterone will say they need to have coffees or Red Bulls or other stimulants, and the converse is also true, given half a chance they'd have a small nap or anything just to relieve some of that extra effort that they're having to put in just to get through their day. Number four, sex. Testosterone is synonymous with the idea of sexual activity, and we tend to associate men with higher levels of testosterone as being more sexually virile. We don't actually know how testosterone does affect libido, but we do know that men with a lower level of testosterone tend to be less sexually active and have less of an interest in sex overall. As levels of testosterone drop further, they also then start to develop erectile dysfunction. If you think you could be suffering with a lower testosterone, and this might be affecting your sex drive, one of the earliest things to look out for is the loss of morning erections. This is a classic marker that this is a hormonal problem for your loss of sex drive and not something else. Number three, mental health. In addition to the physical effects that testosterone has on our bodies, it also acts at a neurological level to affect how we think and develop. Testosterone is important to the developing brain as it alters how we understand the world and our spatial awareness, but it also affects our personality, how we interact, and how we understand the world and other people. It affects our memory and our ability to concentrate, it affects our drive for work, and one of the earliest symptoms that men with low testosterone tend to notice is that partners will comment that they're becoming more grumpy and irritable and have lost their enjoyment in life. Number two, what you see on the outside. We know that testosterone is an anabolic hormone, and the idea that men with severe testosterone deficiency will lose so much muscle mass that they're walking into clinics stick thin just doesn't happen. However, what we do notice is that men start to lose their ability to gain as much muscle from exercise as they used to, and their proportion of body fat starts to increase. It's more subtle than you might think, and it's not this idea that you suddenly lose all your muscle and just become obese, but actually all those things you try and do to stay strong and healthy just become a little bit harder. So training and exercise becomes more difficult and your rewards become less and less. Over time, men will classically also develop that middle age spread. And this is not to say that lifestyle and exercise and diet are not important, but it can be made so much harder if your testosterone levels are already low. Number one, the things you can't see. 
In addition to its effects on how we look and how we think, testosterone also has a range of effects on systems within our bodies. So we know that men with low testosterone tend to have higher blood pressure, altered cholesterol, and an increased risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. We also know that men with low testosterone increase their risk of osteoporosis or brittle bone disease and can also suffer with increased risks of anemia. Overall, testosterone deficiency is not a difficult condition to diagnose or treat. If you think you might have been affected by any of the symptoms discussed in this video, then my best advice is to find a men's health specialist and get yourself checked. It could make all the difference between feeling more like yourself again or just accepting it's normal for your age.